everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma AK Flares. Today I'm going to start off by saying if you're not already please could you subscribe. We're super close to 5k which is just amazing, mind-blowing. Um, so thank you so much for all your support but if you're not already please go hit that subscribe button and obviously the like button if you like the video. But anyway um, today we're off to the fair. I normally would call it a fate. I know when I was a child, we'd have like an annual school fate during the summer where you just had little stalls, you could buy cakes, play games, whatever. And so that's what I'm gonna try and recreate in this area here. I'm super nervous about this because it's really different to anything I've ever done before. So hopefully it will turn out okay. So I'm just going to start off by putting down some trees just to help frame the area and also get them out of my inventory because they're super annoying. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with a little thin path just to try and snake through the area where I want to do my building. So for this we're mixing up the light dirt path with the planks of wood. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, just mixing up these really cute white planks. They, I'll say it now, the codes as always will be in the description. If some of the codes don't look quite right, just leave me a comment and I'll try and find the right one for you. I'm not the best, I'm not the most organized, but I do try, so hopefully that'll be okay. I'm just trying to mix up the fencing a bit. I think this rope fence kind of has the nautical coastal feel that I'm going for. So I'm gonna give this a try on some of the areas on my island. As I said in my new theme video, I did want to mix it up a bit. So here we go. We're stepping outside of the box with a rope fence. I should have said outside of the rope. That would have been funnier. Right, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is just building off our entrance to the fair area. And then I found this cute little kind of stage area which I'm going to use here and I'm also planning on doing like a boardwalk area with beach huts so I think that it will get two uses for this little stage and also for the boardwalk. I like it because it looks like it's raised up off the ground so that's really smart by the creator. So I'm just putting that down now, I'm not going to decorate it quite yet, I'm just kind of mapping out the area as to where I want things to go. So I'm going to add in a picnic blanket as well and I'm going to have a couple just surrounding the stage area, give the idea that there are like families sat down, relaxing, listening to the music or whatever might be going on on the stage at the time. And now we have the blankets in place, I'm just going to pop down some more path just to help me scape it out a bit more. Just interchanging with the light dirt path and the wood planks as previously. Oops, and then going in with our cobblestones over the light dirt path. There we go. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory right now. So I've got the silver mic and also a guitar to go up on the stage. I think I had a ukulele as well. Somewhere. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Right, I've just been off to get some more items and I'm back over here. And we're just going to work on doing like a little welcome sign area to welcome people to the fair or the fete. Um, so I'm gonna use a wedding welcome board and I've put it on top of this adorable doily I did change out my previous one tile kind of design for this one the creator of these are just amazing I'm in love with all of her designs at the minute um, pretty much all of them are from her um, I'm gonna probably mistake how I say her name but it's Lena Me um, but the codes will be in the description um, check out your, for yourself. It's 
For this area I'm just interchanging it with some bushes and some flowers and my custom designs. I've also decided that I'm going to brave using the grass standees and the hedge standees because they're items that I've never ever used before. So I really want to try and incorporate them in some more areas on my island. Something very different for me but we'll give it a go. Just gonna quickly customize this stool just so that they're all kind of in um, a white and I've got two different stool designs one with the white and the small blue stripe and one with the white and the blue with the bigger stripe with some flowers on which was a really nice stool design that I found as well So now I'm just going to kind of place down where I want my stools to be. So I'm going to have like a food area and then we're going to have some different games and stools where you can buy things as well. So this will help further kind of set out the parameters of where I'm going to be decorating. Pippi is so cute. If you don't like Pippi, I just, oh, she's adorable. And her house is super cute as well. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, right. So we've got our two stools up there. I think that's where we're gonna do the food items. And then just try putting a stool here. I don't want too many to be kind of lengthways. So I'm just gonna try and get them to fit as well as I can at the minute. I haven't really thought about what's going on these as of yet but I'm sure something will come to us later on as I say I just want to kind of really kind of gauge where things are gonna go I feel like the at fairs and things there's a lot of hay bales so I'm gonna try and incorporate them and then for this area where I'm just laying down the path I'm gonna put some ring tosses down uh, the games so it's just one of the little things that you can do at the fair maybe you can get a prize the villagers are surrounding me as normal Deirdre's out in her blue top which is very appropriate I thought adding the blue balloons was a really cute addition so I've gone in with that the Festivale Garland. I really wanted to use these quite heavily in this area because they remind me of bunting which is like the epitome of like British festivals, fates um, and this is the closest thing we've got. So I'm going to roll with this and hopefully incorporate it in a few areas. This is a coconut shy, well it's supposed to be a coconut shy. I did this design and because I was thinking about like I was looking on Pinterest and I was thinking about things that people have at fairs and fates and this was one of the things that popped up and I thought it was really appropriate for the theme on my island. So what I'm going to do is put some items behind the cutout standee and then race, rest the coconuts on top, uh, not eat them, <laughs> whoops. Um, I did do some testing when I was making it and I did find that the best kind of height of the items was the mush logs. I'm not sure what else is this height, um, maybe the antique mini tables, um, but I'm going to go with the mush logs, I just forgot to have some in my inventory. So we're just going to place these down, here we go. 
if you guys do want me to release this custom design I'll upload it I mean I know it's not the best I'm no expert at making custom designs but I just wanted something to fit with my theme and something a bit different I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have found a coconut shy in any of the other uh, custom designs I'm just gonna start off decorating over here where we've got some of the picnic blankets so we've gone in with some cushions and the picnic basket I love that colorization on the picnic blanket uh, not the picnic blanket the basket um, I really like the mixture of the blues and the polka dots just trying to incorporate some more foodie items over in this area I think this is where we're gonna have some food so I've got a blue popcorn machine I'm gonna get a barbecue things like that in over here really bad at like hoping stuff is in my inventory and it never is so I'm back with some more items so there's our barbecue I think that's fitting for the theme and then maybe like a little coffee stand over here got the mum's tea cozy because everyone needs a cup of tea and there's that popcorn machine that I was talking about and some ice lollies that's very appropriate or popsicles <laughs> you guys are telling me what you call them in the comments of a previous video so popsicles there you go So I'm just going to decorate the back of the stage. Here's a festivali garland that I was talking about and then we've got more barrels. I just want to put the barrels there, not just because I love barrels, but because I think that it will help separate off the area, kind of tie it, create the idea that it's the end. I don't know what I'm going to do with the back of the area, whether I put some trees, I'm trying not to put too many cliffs in, which is one of the main areas that I kind of help use to help separate off areas, but maybe some trees to kind of create a backdrop for it. Some more coastal items just going up on the barrels. Yeah, I just put down the flower petal basket, it's so small, um, but I have to thought it was a nice item to put on top of the Zen cushions. Some more decorating on the blankets over here. Again, just miscellaneous items, got like cushions, food items, some drinks items. thought putting the pinwheel down would be a really cute addition even though it's not really in the colours of the area I thought it was just a nice touch okay so I think that's our food area pretty much done for now I'm still struggling with this area I'm really not sure what to do. Igly's kind of making it harder so I thought about just putting stuff down to try and like do it as like a store where you can buy things.
And then I thought about using the bingo wheel. I did order this specially because it's not something I generally have in my inventory. But I thought it could be like a raffle. And then I came up with the idea of just putting some items down as if they're like the prizes for the raffle. I guess you could, or an idea that they were purchasable. But I think I like the idea of them being the prizes because when I've been to raffles and things, you kind of have all the items laid out um, so you can see what you're gonna win. I'm also going to try and remember to get some Nutmar tickets to use as the raffle like tickets um, and we'll try and place them on the stall as well. I don't know why but I'm obsessed with putting giant water bugs everywhere. I just love the buckets that they come in. I think they're really really cute. And then over here I think what I'm gonna do is put the cake stall. But first off what I wanted to do was, this may sound really really crazy but have you guys ever seen those games where you have like someone sat on a chair and then you have to throw balls at one of the items that make the chair then push the person off and into the water pool. I've probably explained that really badly. But that's kind of what I was going for. Um, the other thing that might be similar is where you throw wet sponges at something. Um, but anyway, I thought that that was a cute game idea. And so back over here decorating that cake stand that I was talking about. I know that's one of the favourite things that... <laughs> I liked at these fairs, there was always really good cakes, like homemade proper like Victoria sandwich cakes and things like that. I wasn't quite sure what to put up there so simple panel didn't quite work. I didn't like that the, the tree was kind of blocking the way quite heavily so I changed that out. I just wanted to add this beautiful blanket again just so that we could put table and chairs on top of it. And then it was time to just finish off the path a bit. I did kind of want it to snake around but maybe it will have to go onto the beach and we'll do like a path all the way back round or something. Um, but I'll figure that out at a later date how I'm going to transition this into my island as a whole. There is quite a large open space down here to the left which I wanted to keep open because I haven't done my peninsula yet. It is kind of sat down in that area. So I really wanted to kind of give myself enough space if I decide to do something specific, we might need a bit extra. Just adding in some filler patterns now and just the final kind of touches. Um, I'm gonna go and get some flowers shortly. There's another hay bed as I said. Just running around and kind of really figuring out where I can just make some small changes. So here we are with the flowers. Obviously we've gone for lots of blue and white. I've got quite a few bushes as well just to mix it up. Here are the Nookmar tickets that I was talking about. There we go. Just a little detail just to add to kind of 
maybe make it make a bit more sense. I'm just going to roughly put them down. I mean, I can come back and edit this all a bit later. Oh, Deirdre, what are you doing down there? <laughs> She's just hidden away. I didn't realise she was there. I'm going to just put the odd flower in the actual kind of fair area just to add a bit more and add some more colour. I am quite bad for cluttering areas, I'm sorry. That's really not you. I'm just going to edit this cliff a bit more just so I can get an idea of what it would look like. And it also helps me know where to put the flowers as well. And then as I said earlier I thought about kind of putting some trees down to kind of help segment off the area so that's what we've gone with just placing the last of the flowers that I have now okay I think what I'm going to do is leave it there for now. I can always go back, add some more flowers, finish off the background area, but I really just want to show you the area that I've decorated for now. So in the starting area over to the left, we have that kind of raffle area, and then we've got our coconut shy, and then this is all the foodie items. You can get an ice cream, a drink, some popcorn, a hot dog, whatever you fancy. And then here is the ring toss area, which is one of the kind of like fair games that we've got set up. And then we have the stage with the picnic blankets for relaxing. And then this was the game, which I have no idea what it's called, but I kind of explained it. So hopefully you'll know what I mean. And then we have also a cake stand over here as well to buy some yummy treats. I kind of, I like it. It's very different to what I normally build, but I think kind of the vision that I had in my head has kind of come to reality, so I'm happy with that. And there's lots of different areas that all have a little bit of a meaning behind them, which I like. Um, so hopefully, guys, you like it too. And if you've ever been to a fair like this, do you think it actually resembles things that you've visited? Let me know in the comments. Is there anything you would have added or maybe left out? Let me know. And as I said before, we're really close to 5k, so I'd really love it if you're not already to press that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And thank you for your continued support. So have a lovely day, and we'll see you again soon for another video. Bye bye.